How's it going? So I thought it would be kind of cool to do a few videos on just native trees and native plants and things you can eat in the bush. We're in some beautiful bush at the moment. Nice broadleaf pot of carp forest. Lots of southern rata and heaps of tortida and rimu and uh, all sorts of stuff. Lots of kamahi in the mid canopy there. And that's just really nice. Anyway, so yeah, I thought we, we've been thinking for a while it would be kind of cool to do you know, just the odd video here and there on, on specific native trees and and uh, specific things you can eat in the bush. So um, just short videos. So there's a heap of metal berries around at the moment. So this right here is a metal tree right here. And um, so yeah, metal tree is what this video is all about. So um, this one's got a fair bit of moss on it. But you can see right there, the bark, and that's kind of the easiest way to identify a big tree. Um, you know, basically there's just little oval shaped flakes that fall off. They just fall off like that and they make these circles or ovals. Um, so it's quite similar to the Matai tree in that way. The Matai tree has circles of bark that fall off as well, but they're just bigger. So, um, yeah, that's kind of how you tell them apart from the trunk anyway. It's the metal has a lot smaller patterns on it. Um, but yeah, the part of it you eat, I'll just show you the leaves. So I can't can't show you the leaves of this big tree but there's a few younger trees over here so that's a really young one there's another one there and there's sort of a bit bigger one but the, uh, the leaves are pretty much the same, same looking leaf the whole way through. Part of them you eat is, is the metal berry itself, so there's a heap of them around, all over the ground at the moment, below this tree. You can see them all there. Heap of them down here. So yeah, we've got a few berries here. So there's quite a big stone in the middle of them, so you don't want to eat that. You just eat the flesh around the outside. Eat that flesh and then um, spit the stone out, pretty much. So yeah, they're not the tastiest berry in the bush by any means, um, but they're not too bad. I mean, if you're starving, I suppose they probably taste pretty good. Um, if you eat too many of them, they'll probably give you the shits. A lot of animals like to eat them. Pigs eat them. The old kedadu, um seems to love metal berries. Um, wood pigeon. And yeah, the old possum likes them too. Um, quite often you see them in the possum shit. You can see there's a, actually a heap of possum shit around here. Quite often you find a heap of the stones inside the possum shit. Oh, you see one over here. So here's another bit of disintegrating possum shit here that's got a couple of metal stones in it. Sort of five metres away from the tree or so. Um, so yeah, one day these will probably split open and germinate and there'll be another metal tree growing here. So yeah, the old possum does tend to help with, with a bit of seed dispersal um, of the metal tree.